What's up guys? I was uh, fortunate enough to be gifted a lifetime um, Elite Series basketball hoop with a tempered glass. It's about a year and a half old, two years. These things go for about 800 bucks, so I was gifted it. And the problem, one of the reasons why I was gifted is because uh, they're upgrading to a nicer, bigger one, uh, the Mammoth ones. I don't have $1,400 to spend, so my brother was nice enough to give me this one so that my kids can have something in the meantime. The problem is, he cut it. It was like this. He cut it at the concrete. This goes in ground. He cut it at the concrete. Ah. Ah, man. I, I would have been better off having all the whole concrete uh, footing still attached to the post. Uh, the problem lies therein. These things are meant to go in there and never ever come back out. Uh, it's about five and a half, I'm sorry, about six inches of the sleeve goes in uh, from that piece. And that's an additional, I would say about four or five feet long. Each section is about four or five feet. So that's the one that was in the ground. And as you can see, I tried to make holes on each side and I put a pipe through it. And I was hammering away. So much so that I was trying to hammer it that way from this direction, trying to hammer it that way, and that didn't work. It just ripped the metal. So I ended up getting an angle grinder, simple tools we have on hand here, and I cut it at the edge here. So what that leaves me with is that sleeve in there was right at this edge right here and I at first I used a flat head to try to get in there and bend it out but that video wasn't working so I used a little bit of butane to heat it up hopefully the metal will soften and I'll be able to hammer it out that didn't work either so eventually I got myself this table what is this called a uh, jigsaw with a metal or well, all-purpose four I think it's four and a half inches to five inches uh, you got it in my Home Depot the Diablo series I think it's four and a half to five inches long but the problem is they can only go in about three so I was able to cut that sleeve for about three inches the inside sleeve without cutting the outside sleeve as you can tell see how I cut it in there and what I did was I used this, I had this tool in hand. It's a very heavy, heavy um, bar. Me meant to use earth or move earth like rocks that are in the ground, like when you're digging. Um, I used the sharp end and I pushed it all the way in. And um, I pushed it all the way in and under after I made the cut, which mind you, the cut doesn't go. Again, that's, five, that's almost six inches, that sleeve that goes inside. The cut, it's impossible to reach all the way at the end. Unless you have a, a metal sawzall, I just, I don't see it happening. Um, metal cutting sawzall. So just based on the tools I had, I pushed the uh, metal pry bar under the cut and it moved. You see the wedge it created. So that released the tension of the metal all around. So I, uh, in, the, in doing so, I realized that I pushed the metal back about two inches and I realized oh well pushing is actually easier than pulling I didn't have any tools to pull that out and nothing else was working earlier so I said you know what it's the best thing to do is push it so I happen to have this bar where's that bar there it goes this is from a jack I'm the MacGyver man this is from a jack this is uh, to hold the uh, car up when I'm jacking it up. And I push that here, and I use a heavy hammer to hammer away. Push that about nine inches in. I don't need the nine inches, but I get, you know, all I needed was six, but I give them nine. Ha. So, uh, yeah, now when the next sleeve arrives, it's gonna go right in there about six inches. It's not even gonna make contact with the inside piece. 
And now I'll be able to set that other piece in concrete, let it set, bring this out, detach the post, and then uh, eventually attach those, uh, attach the bar to the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the backboard back to the post after I hammer this down from the top bottom onto the new sleeve, which is gonna go over there. So that's all folks. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, just letting you know, WD-40 doesn't work. Pulling it out this way doesn't work. I tried everything. Uh, if anybody has any other body, any ideas, feel free to comment. I know I went through a lot of different tools here, some of which, which you may or may not have in your garage. But I'm the MacGyver type. I just try to make it work with what I have. And uh, I got lucky on this one. I realized pushing is better than pulling. pulling. And that did, definitely did the trick. So that's all, folks. Good luck. Stay safe.